In global geopolitics, alliances shift, power centers rise, and strategic partnerships evolve. But right now, one partnership is quietly transforming into something far more powerful than anyone expected, India and Russia. And the biggest question heating up strategic circles is this. Are India and Russia preparing to move from space cooperation to space defense cooperation? Could we actually see the beginning of a joint space defense framework? Maybe even the blueprint of a future Space Force collaboration? This question isn't hypothetical. It's timely. It's relevant. And it's on the table because Russian President Vladimir Putin is scheduled to visit India on December 4th to 5th, where multiple high-impact agreements are expected. And among them, space security might be the dark horse. Recently, Insider reports confirm that India and Russia are finalizing an agreement to establish reciprocal ground stations for their satellite navigation systems, GLONASS, Russia's global navigation constellation, NAVIC, India's indigenous navigation system. This isn't a small technical handshake. This is strategic infrastructure sharing, the kind nations do only with trusted partners. Here's what this move would achieve. One. Ultra-high accuracy navigation ground stations provide the fine-tuning needed for pinpoint accuracy. By sharing data, both GLONASS and NAVIC can access each other's regional coverage, fixing blind spots and boosting reliability. 2. Continuity during signal weakness. If NAVIC signals weaken in a region, GLONASS seamlessly fills the gap. If GLONASS faces obstruction, NAVIC steps in. A hybrid, dual-secure navigation environment gets created. Three. Defense-grade positioning support India operates a massive inventory of Russian-origin platforms, fighter jets, tanks, missiles, radars. Integrating GLONASS plus NAVIC gives India better missile guidance, improved battlefield awareness, superior target tracking, stronger autonomous operations. This is where the line between space cooperation and defense cooperation gets very thin. 4. Reduce dependence on US GPS. For both India and Russia, Reducing reliance on foreign systems, especially the US GPS network, has huge strategic value. This is autonomy. This is sovereignty. This is strategic insurance. Where will these stations be located? According to sources, Russia will host its GLONASS ground station inside ISRO's telemetry, tracking and command network, Bengaluru, India, may set up its NAVIC ground station in Novosibirsk, Russia. This is deep integration, far deeper than anything either country has done with the US or China. From navigation to space defense, how realistic is it? If we connect the dots, a very clear picture emerges. India and Russia aren't just collaborating in space. They're synchronizing capabilities in satellite navigation, missile tracking, space-based surveillance, cryogenic engines, crew training for Gaganyaan, India's human spaceflight mission, joint deep space technologies Russia, trained India's astronauts. Russia helped develop critical suit and life support systems. Russia is offering joint ventures in missiles like Brahmos NG and even hypersonic technologies like Kinjal. This isn't a supplier-buyer relationship anymore. This is a strategic co-creation partnership. And with the US developing Space Force, China building space warfare units, and NATO holding space war games, India and Russia see the strategic writing on the wall Space is the next battlefield. Whoever controls orbit controls the outcome. So yes, a space defense roadmap between India and Russia is absolutely realistic. It might not be called Space Force, but the architecture is being quietly built. Historical foundation. Why the Russia-India bond is deep. The partnership is not new. It goes back decades. 1975. Rakesh Sharma became India's first astronaut via Soviet Soyuz mission 2000s. Collaboration on GLONASS begins 2010. The world-famous BrahMos missile joint venture, 60 to 70 percent of India's military arsenal has historically been Russian origin bilateral trade already surpassed 65 plus billion and is pushing toward 100 billion dollars. Whether it's fighter jets, submarines, nuclear reactors, missiles or space technology, Russia has been India's most reliable long-term partner. New space projects already in motion. This isn't imagination. Here's what's happening right now. Collaboration in cryogenic engines, joint work in space medicine, shared lunar mission insights, post Chandrayaan 3, discussions on satellite based missile tracking systems, assistance in orbital docking systems, Russia's support in India's Gaganyaan human spaceflight program. This is textbook dual use tech, civilian plus defense. What does this mean for China and Pakistan? 
a stronger India-Russia space partnership means against China, a counterbalance to Beijing's aggressive space militarization and Beidou expansion, against Pakistan, superior navigation, improved missile accuracy, upgraded counter-terror and border ops, globally, a new Indo-Russian axis that challenges the U.S.-China tech race and reduces Western dominance in strategic space infrastructure. What could Putin's visit deliver? Several big outcomes are on the table. Final approval of the GLONASS Navic Integrated Ground Station Network, new agreements on satellite security and space traffic management, expansion of human spaceflight collaboration, potential new joint development programs for space-based defense sensors. If even half of this materializes, India-Russia space ties will enter an entirely new era. Conclusion, a new orbit of partnership. India and Russia are not just looking at cooperation, they're looking at strategic synchronization. Space is no longer just science. Space is security, surveillance, strategy, sovereignty. And if the momentum continues, we may very well witness the birth of a powerful new chapter, the India-Russia Space Defense Framework, a framework that could reshape the balance of power from low Earth orbit to lunar orbit and beyond.